Costco has one of the best return policies in the world. In this video, we're gonna break down everything you need to know about Costco's return policy. So if you're a Costco beginner or you're just curious, this video is perfect for you. And make sure you stay till the end of this video for a Costco pro tip that you are not gonna wanna miss. Costco is the GOAT retailer because of their unrelenting dedication to put customers first. One of the big ways they do this is by having a very generous return policy. And even their top competitors, and I won't say any names, cannot compete with their return policy. Let's say you go to Costco and you buy a vacuum. The vacuum is great, but after using it for six months, it doesn't clean as good as the first day you got it. And you have a dog, his name is Bear. Bear hates the vacuum. Now you're upset because it's too late to return, plus you don't have the box or the receipt. Then you remember that you didn't just buy this at any retailer. You bought this at Costco. And so you go to Costco and they happily accept your return. Wow. Woo! Easy peasy. Costco has a 100% risk-free guarantee, which means that if you're not satisfied with the product, Costco will accept your return at any time. Here's everything that you need to know about the Costco return policy. Number one, you could return open items, which means you don't even need the original box or the packaging. However, you do need the original parts and accessories that come with the product. And I know for a lot of us, including me, as soon as you buy something at Costco, you open that product and you just toss that box away, never to be seen again. Number two is that there is no time limits to return, which seems a little bit too good to be true. You could use the product for months and if you're not satisfied with it, you could bring it back to the store and they will happily accept your return, no questions asked. Number three is that you can return almost anything at Costco. This includes food, toys, clothing, furniture, minor appliances, tools, and more. Just about 99% of what's in that warehouse, you could probably return. Now, I've seen some people return some crazy stuff. Think about used pots and pans, some really old furniture, even half-eaten potato salad. Now, I'm not saying it's okay to abuse the Costco return policy. Please don't do that. Costco does track your return history through your membership. So if you are abusing that return policy, they have the right to revoke your membership and you're gonna be forced to shop at either Sam's Club or BJ's and trust me, you don't wanna do that. Totally joking. Not really. Number four is no receipt, no problem. This is a big one because you know what? We're human and we lose receipts all the time. Just give Costco your membership and they're gonna be able to pull up your purchase history so that you could return that item. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, give this video a like. YouTube really likes it and it really helps our channel out. Okay, number five is that returns get credited to your original form of payment. I think that's really underrated, especially if you've opened it, you've used the product already. One thing to note is that if you do use a debit card, they might give your return through a cash card. Number six is that you could actually return return your Costco membership. So the return policy doesn't just apply to products, it could apply to your membership as well. Number seven is that you could return Costco.com purchases at the warehouse, but that's not the surprising thing. The surprising thing is that they'll also refund you your shipping and handling fees. It's stuff like that where you just think, Costco, thank you, I appreciate you. Number eight is if someone gives you a gift from Costco and you wanna return it, you could return it without them being there and needing their membership card. Give that product to them and they'll give you a gift card. Hold on, there is one major exception. But before I get into that, let me share this bonus pro tip with you. Pro tip, Costco does price matching. If you buy a product at Costco and you come back within 30 days and you see that same product is at a lower price, you could go to customer service and they could price adjust that for you and give you back the difference. One personal example is this banana leaf tree behind me. We got this for $150. We went back to Costco two weeks later and it was $50 off. We went to customer service and they were able to do a price adjustment. We got $50 credited back to our credit card. Costco, you're amazing. One major, major exception. One major exception. The one major exception to this policy is you have 90 days to return electronics or any major appliances. Think computers, phones, speakers, refrigerators, dishwashers. So for example, if I bought this Bluetooth speaker at Costco, which I did like five years ago, I would not be able to return this because it's over 90 days. That is the one exception to Costco's amazing return policy. There are other less common exceptions like alcohol or diamonds over one carat. I mean, who returns those things anyway? And I'll throw the full details here. You could pause the video and review that at your own leisure. Costco's return policy is undefeated. Costco wants to make sure you're 100% satisfied with the products that you purchase and your membership. If you're not a Costco member yet, what are you waiting for? Get that membership right now. And if you don't like it, you can just return it. Subscribe to our channel if you're living that crazy Costco life and watch our next video right here.